Hey, this is Malcolm341. In this video, we're going to look at a script I created that selects faces by material ID. Selecting faces by mat ID can be useful in a bunch of situations, so let's check it out. Okay, so the script is really straightforward. Uh, basically, it's this button right here, mat ID in the shelf. And so what you do is you select exactly one face of the material ID that you want to select all of, and then you run the script. So for example, if I want to select the yellow mat ID, select one face, any one face of the yellow, and then you click the button. And boom, it selects all the faces that have the yellow applied. And then, you know, same thing with the red. Um, you can click the button again, or you can just press G on the keyboard to repeat last. So we're going to press the button, boom, and then it selects all of the red. Or press G, and boom, there you go, all of the green. And then same thing with the gray boom, all of the gray. So this is actually super handy, and I'm going to show you why. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the Hypershade. I have a hotkey for it, but if you want to get to the Hypershade, it's Windows, uh, Rendering Editors, and then Hypershade. Pop that guy open here, and then you can see there's my four materials there, my three colored ones, and then just like the default gray one or whatever. And so I'm going to duplicate this object. I'm going to press Control D on the keyboard to duplicate the asset and drag one over there, or you can hold down shift and uh, drag one out like that to clone it. So I've got three assets in the scene, and they all share the same materials. And so what the Hypershade lets you do is you can right click on one of these guys and you can say select, hold down right click and say select objects with this material. The problem with this is do it it selects all of the objects with this material, so all of the faces. And that can be super annoying and frustrating when you've shared materials in your scene, in your level or something, and all you want to do is work on this guy. You just want to get the selected faces for this guy. So with the script, you just go in here, go like that, and then click the button, and boom, you just get that one. It doesn't select all of the extra ones. And as far as I remember, that's the default behavior in 3D Studio Max. And I actually find that to be a lot more useful than the, oh, I'm going to select everything in the scene because you almost never want to do that. You're not going to want to work on an instance or a duplication of your object. Or even if you shared a texture with another object, you wouldn't want to then select those faces. You just want to come in here, grab that guy, click the button, and boom, then you can have a selection of those faces. The other cool thing is I hate the Hypershade. It has become so slow and painful to work in in newer versions of Maya. It takes forever to launch, and it takes up like all of your screen space. And so what's really nice is you don't even need that thing to get any of these selections. If you want to get red on this guy, you just go here and click the script, and you've got red there. Come over to this guy, go here, press G to repeat, and you've got the yellow. Or you come over here to the gray Oops, or the green, because the gray was already selected, and press G, and you've got the green. So I don't even need to open the Hypershade and go through that hideous workflow that I dislike so much. I can just do all of my work kind of how I want to right in the viewport. Another really nice thing is when you use this script in combination with the copy-paste scripts from uh, previous videos, we can use it to move materials around between objects without even looking at the Hypershade, which is also going to be a huge time saver. So let's say I want to go here and I want to replace the red material with uh, some other material from a different object. So I've just created a couple different materials here. We've got the blue and the purple. And so watch what we can do now. So we can easily come in and we can say, you know what? I want the yellow to be blue and something else to be purple. It's really easy. So we're going to come over here and we're going to select one face here. And I'm going to go copy the purple. And then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to say select, uh, let's say the gray. I'm going to go mat ID, and then I'm going to go paste. And boom, there, we've copied the full material to all those faces, fully replaced it on this object without even entering the hypershade. And then same thing with the blue. Come over here, copy the blue, come back over here, grab one on the red, mat ID, and paste. So this can be super helpful. I have to do this quite a bit at work, actually. Uh, objects with uh, multiple material IDs, I've, I've often have to have a couple in the scene, and they'll come in and they'll duplicate the materials. And this is a really fast way to delete all the duplicate materials and just paste back the ones that you care about. A really extreme example of this is I'll often have an object like this, and 
it might look like it's all one material, but in fact, it has a bunch of different materials on it that have lost their texture application. And so it all just looks gray, but watch what happens when I select one face. Select this, go Mad ID. That's actually a different gray material. That is, that is, maybe that is. Yeah, so it's actually got a bunch of materials on it and it's impossible for me to go into the hypershade and select stuff one at a time. It's way too slow and too tricky. And so this tool is actually great for replacing material IDs on existing objects that have lost their texture and you need to apply a texture from over here because just like we did before, go over here, copy, come over here, hit whatever face and do the mat ID and then say paste and boom, there you go. Copy and pasted it over. And then of course this works great with the hypershade because in certain situations you've just made the new material so you need to come into here to assign it. It hasn't been applied to anything in the scene. And of course, it makes this way easier to do as well, because you just select one face here, go Mad ID, and then come up here, right click and say assign material. So it's also super handy for assigning brand new materials to objects. And finally, the other thing I use this script for is separating combining parts of models. And so what I mean by that is that this object actually has two materials on it. It's got a, a texture for the inside of the object, and it's got a texture for the outside of the object. And I've welded all the verts together. So if I were to go into face mode and double click, it's like certain parts of the object will select and other parts of the object won't. And some of the verts are welded and some of them aren't. So it can be really tricky to just kind of isolate selection on just the interior. And typically what I'll do in my UV mapping workflow is I will actually select the faces that I want to work on and I'll extract those to a separate model, finish the UV mapping on them and then uh, just quickly combine them back together. So with the script, it's actually super easy. If I select one face on the exterior and do the mat ID, I get everything from the exterior. There it is. You can see that part of it's like welded in there and part of it isn't. And so it makes it super simple to extract and combine the object. So let's say I want to UV map the inside because it's super annoying. Select that guy, run the mat ID, and then just run the extract, boom. Got a separate model there. And then I can work on this. And so what I'll do is I'll isolate selection on that. And then I'll go into, let me just turn on back face culling there. I'll go into the UV editor and then I don't have such a mess to work on. I've just got just my interior pieces and then I can do the UV mapping there. And then when I'm happy with the UV mapping, I'll just go back here and then I'll select uh, this guy and then this guy and I'll just run the combine script and boom, those guys are combined back together and uh, we're ready to go. Put it back into the game engine or whatever uh, application I'm working with. If you've already purchased the full script pack or the modeling pack, this will be a free update. So you just need to download the same file again from your original email link to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script yet, you can grab the script by itself in the modeling pack, or you can get it in the full script pack. So take your pick. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel wouldn't exist. If you like this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad free. See you next time. Have a spectacular day.